Alright guys, today uh, I'm going to be talking about overclocking. Um, a lot of you guys saw my video on building the gaming rig that maybe you can see a sliver of right there. Um, and you said like, hey, I heard you're overclocking this because in there I said in the description I said overclocking it to 4.4 gigahertz. And a lot of you were like, whoa, negative comments, positive comments, how do you do that comments, make a tutorial comments. So I'm making a tutorial comments. Make No, making a tutorial. Uh, so, in that video, I, um, sort of explained what I have in the computer, uh, but in case you didn't watch that video, there'll be a link in the, uh, right here, along that side, I can't reach that far, uh, or just click, I, I don't know, look for an annotation. So, yeah, here's the setup that I have, uh, I have the P8Z68-V LX motherboard by ASUS, uh, as you can see, this is their uh, EFI BIOS. Um, this is the easy mode. We're going to start off in here because when you first turn on your computer or first go to overclock, this is what you're going to see. So I'm going to do a step-by-step -step walkthrough and explanation of uh, the way things work and how to do an overclock. Um, uh, the BIOS version doesn't really matter. Um, you can see my CPU. I have an Intel Core i5 2500K. Uh, stock is 3.3 gigahertz, but again, I am overclocking that to 4.4 gigahertz. Uh, 8 gigs of DDR3 1600 megahertz RAM. Um, I'll talk more about that later. Uh, my temp, stuff like that. So when you first turn on your computer, uh, this is what you're going to see. Um, assuming you haven't installed an operating system in your first booting into the BIOS. Um, so when you boot into the BIOS, this is what you're going to see. Uh, this is the there. This is the easy mode. Um, and uh, displays all your stuff, uh, all your stats, um, etc. Um, and then right here, as you can see, uh, there's these three little like buttons, uh, buttons sort of, uh, and you can hover over them. And right here it says this one is power saving mode, this one is normal mode, and this one is uh, ASUS optimal. Uh, so really quick. Uh, there's this little graph or chart right here, uh, and you can see that um, in power saving mode, it really focuses on quietness of the computer and energy savings. So, say you have like a um, home theater PC or uh, whatever you're using it as like a DVR, I guess it's the same thing as a home theater PC. But if you want it to be quiet and just stuck in a corner and you know leave it on all the time without it sucking uh, a ton of juice and making you pay out the ass for your electricity bill that's the one you would click on that will underclock your system and make the CPU run slower possibly and sort of throttle things back. Uh, then there's normal mode which doesn't touch anything, uh, leaves it all exactly the way it is. Uh, and then there is perf uh, ASUS Optimal which focuses on performance more than quietness or uh, energy efficiency um, or energy savings as they call it. Uh, so if you want to do a really simple overclock, uh, what you can do is just click this button, uh, the energy or the um, the ASUS Optimal. If you click that, it'll uh, reboot your system, and it the computer itself will, will overclock itself. Um, so it's really simple, pretty much hands off. Click a button, and it does it for you. Uh, really simple, and it it works. I actually did that when I first got this computer, but then I wanted to get more hands on so I learned about it and I started doing it myself. Um, so for more advanced people uh, we're gonna go up here where it says exit slash advanced mode and we're not gonna exit we're gonna go into advanced mode um, and you can see my stats more of my stats right here um, memory speed uh, core clock etc BIOS version time and date um, so this is the actual, the AI tweaker tab right here is where you want to be for overclocking. Um, you can see right now the setup I have, it says target CPU turbo mode speed is 4400 megahertz and my target DRAM speed is 1600 megahertz. So that means I'm overclocking my processor when it goes into turbo mode by 1.1 gigahertz. Uh, and the way you do that is by going here to AI overclock tuner and this will be an auto um, if you have it set up that way. If you, it, it, normally it's in auto mode, um, but there is manual mode, which is you do the math yourself, and then there is XMP, where you also do the math yourself, but it's a little more lenient. Um, 
And if you're wondering, XMP stands for Extreme Memory Profile. Uh, but basically, it makes sure that your motherboard and the RAM work better together, uh, less memory errors, stuff like that. Um, and then there is basically manual mode, which is just you do the math yourself, like I explained before, and it doesn't worry about the memory or anything. Uh, this is what I use. Um, to me, it's more like hands-on. You're doing everything yourself, more uh, hit or miss, I guess. Uh, so right here, it says uh, BCLK slash PCIe frequency. Uh, BCLK stands for base clock, so your base clock multiplier. Uh, and you usually want to leave this uh, within a relatively small range of what it comes in. Uh, so base is 100, so you don't want to go, like here it says uh, valid input value is 80 to 300 megahertz. Um, you don't want to go up to 300 megahertz, and you don't want to go down really to 80 megahertz. Um, you want to stay within like the 90s to the 110, and that's kind of stretching it. Um, any further and you're, you're, you're really pushing it. Uh, and then your turbo ratio you can do by all cores um, or by per core. Uh, so which CPUs um, or like which cores on the CPU uh, do get overclocked or do all of them get overclocked, all of them get overclocked the same way, etc. Stuff like that. That was redundant. Uh, and then by, uh, by all cores where you can adjust in the OS, uh, which is what I'm using, and then this is your uh, your other multiplier. So right here you can see by basic math, 100 times 44 is 4400 megahertz. So uh, you know you can you can change this one up a little bit more uh, than than this one. It's a little bit more lenient on you. It won't freak out. I guess is what I'm getting at. I'm not sure. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, so right here you can see 100 times 44 is 4400 megahertz. So uh, you know, even if we were go to go to uh, like say you were encountering some errors, but you want to keep uh, this number the same, you could go down. This will change your speed, but you can go to like 98 and then hit enter, and you can see my new speed will be uh, 4312 megahertz, which is like 43 or 4.3. Gigahertz. Semantics. Uh, and now maintaining an overclock. So right there you just set up your overclock. Those those options right there sets up your overclock and that's how you do the math and what speeds you're going to get. Everything after that pretty much is maintaining your overclock and making sure that it's a stable overclock. Uh, inter internal PLL over voltage. Uh, you definitely want to have that enabled. Um, it makes sure that... Um, well, right here it says uh, internal PLL over voltage for KSKU CPUs to get extreme overclocking capability. So, like mine, I have an I, I, um, Intel i5 2500K, and it says KSKU. So, if you have a 2600 i7 2600K, uh, most unlocked CPUs, um, it'll expand your overclockability uh, a little bit further. Uh, then, your memory frequency that's with your RAM if you want to overclock your RAM, which is recommended. Um, if you're overclocking your CPU, you generally want to overclock your RAM just to make sure that you're getting an actual speed boost and not bottlenecking anywhere. Um, I am not currently doing that because I was encountering some errors. Uh, maybe it's the RAM I bought. Maybe it's... Well, I know it is the RAM I bought, so I'm not even going to say maybe. Uh, the RAM I bought was kind of weird. It only works at certain frequencies, and it doesn't like to work at anything else. Um, EPU power saving mode, this is all basic stuff. Um, these two you definitely want to have enabled load line calibration, um, which uh, when your CPU like ramps up to work on something, it needs a lot more voltage, and the uh, load line calibration makes sure that when that punch is given to the CPU saying, hey, you need to work, the voltage is there right away, so there's not a drop or a spike in voltage. It's exactly where it needs to be. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, so that's how I have my overclock set up, and I hope this helps you uh, have greater understanding for how an overclock works, um, what some of these things mean. Um, there's a whole bunch of acronyms and stuff. It took me a while to actually learn about this stuff myself. Um, and it can be complex at times. And uh, if at any point during, if you go to overclock, and if you feel uncomfortable at any time, uh, just stop. Like, don't save your changes, 
do some research and then continue if you want to. Uh, but if you seriously feel uncomfortable or you're concerned about hurting your computer, then uh, I personally I don't recommend doing this. Um, most people don't need to overclock their computers. Even I don't really use uh, all 4.4 gigahertz that I have 99% uh, of the time. Uh, most people just don't use it. But if you are doing uh, heavy high definition video editing or heavy uh, large um, raw images or even uh, JPEGs are shit. Um, large raw images, large video. Um, most of the people out there just overclock for... I don't know why I raised my hands. Uh, most people out there overclock for fun. You're just like, hey, I got up to 4.4. Hey, I got up to 5. Hey, I got up to some insane number that started my computer on fire. Um, you know. But it, it, it's fun. Uh, you know, give me something fast and I'll make it faster. It's, it's how it goes. Alright, that's pretty much it. Uh... If you have any questions or comments on this video, uh, leave them in the comment box below. I mean, that's where they go. Um, subscribe. It's free. Uh, wherever you can find a little thing, YouTube changes it like every day. Um, so just try, try and find it and then subscribe if you like more of these videos. Um, if, if you want a tutorial or something else, uh, I know a shit ton about computers. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Um, I love helping people and I uh, love helping people understand more about computers and how they work and how to do crazy shit with them. Alright guys, see ya. I might edit that out because I don't know what the fuck it means.